Hi Capricorn, welcome to Pandora Astrology's monthly horoscope for December of 2020. You know your birthday is right around the corner and therefore you're already in your yearly mop-up period. You may already be feeling the New Year's influences coming in and trying to sort out the influences of last year and put them to bed. You can find out about it in a solar return reading and you can get that at the link in the YouTube description below. So we have some Mercury, Venus, and Mars activity for you today also, an eclipse and um, some Saturn activity that will be of interest to any Capricorn. Um, hey, Julia, what is up for Capricorn this month? Mm, well, hey, Capricorn. So Mercury, the planet of communication, the planet of mind, at the very, very beginning of the month on December 1st, enters your 12th house of seclusion. So when Mercury comes into this house, it means that for the most part, you're kind of keeping more of your ideas to yourself. And a lot of your information and thinking could be coming from very subconscious places, maybe dream states, may, maybe meditative states, because the 12th house is the house of the collective unconscious. Um, now, Venus, the planet of art, beauty, and relationships begins the month in your 11th house. And that's a very, very social place because it's the house of groups. So for the first half of the month, you're going to be just a little social butterfly. If you've got a partner, you're going to be wanting to socialize with them and your group of friends or whatever tribe you're a part of. And then on December 15th, Venus joins Mercury in the 12th house. And after, so basically for the second half of the month, you're going to be in a much more retiring mood. Uh, wherever we have Venus is where we find pleasure. So in the house of seclusion, you'll be enjoying a lot more time on your own or just being kind of a homebody with your partner if you have one. Now, last planet I want to talk about is Mars, the planet of action and activity, and it's in the sign of Aries all month, and it's been in Aries for a number of months because it just finished up a whole retrograde cycle there. Um, so it's slowly picking up speed in this sign, um, and all of this activity has been happening in your fourth house of family and home. So the last few months have, you probably faced a lot of frustrations, a lot of flare-ups on the home front, whether that's with your housing situation or the people you live with and even family too. Too. The good news is this very frustrating cycle is starting to close out this month and next year Mars is going to jump out of this house and it's going to be a fresh start for everyone. Yeah, and another part of that fresh start is some really important activity for your ruling planet, which is Saturn. Saturn right here moves out of Capricorn where it's been for about two and a half years, completely normal for Saturn. And it moves into Aquarius right here on December 16. And um, this is going to be a major shift. Um, we've been dealing with a lot of activity in Capricorn, your sign, in the last year particularly. And, um, and it's felt pretty heavy, I think, to all of us. And for you in particular, it's probably felt like a time when you must absolutely rise to the occasion and show your strength. And so not a lot of opportunity for softness or for busting out. Well, when Saturn moves into Aquarius, I think you may find that busting out is exactly what you need to do. It's followed just a few days later by Jupiter also moving into Aquarius, and then the two are going to come into a conjunction. You can look for our video about that in the December 2020 news playlist on our YouTube channel, Pandora Astrology, um, where you can find out all about this momentous conjunction and, uh, and what it means um, historically. So um, this is going to really uh, bring a pretty big shift, which is going to go on into next year. The feeling of heaviness, of burden, and, uh, and also all of the sense of oppression coming from the pandemic hot degree is going to expire when these planets move out into Aquarius. So phew, finally light at the end of the tunnel achieved. Um, now some other things are going on. Uh, Saturn, uh, Capricorn, I mean the Sun actually, is going to be moving into Capricorn right here on the 21st, which means your birthday time is coming if you are a Sun sign Capricorn, not a Capricorn rising. And um, <clears throat> this, is, uh, this brings on the season when we all want to kind of huddle around the tribal fire and try to get some warmth and um, the harvest is done and now we just have to make it through the winter. So um, there's a very strong, I don't know, you might say social feel about this. It's happening in your first house and the sun brings the spotlight of attention wherever it goes. And, um, and so 
you may find that you want to put more attention on yourself and you want to have more attention put on you and that you're feeling noticed, possibly judged. And, um, you know, hopefully you live up to your own standards and are feeling pretty good about yourself in this season. So there are a couple of other things going on, a couple of moons. On December 14th, we have a new moon in Sagittarius, which is also an eclipse. It is a solar eclipse, and you can find our video about it again in the December 2020 news videos playlist. Uh, this one falls in your 12th house, and an eclipse shows us our shadow. It makes us look at something that usually is behind us that we're not looking at always in the light of day. And so this falling in your 12th house of the unconscious um, means that you're, you may be actually showing and enacting some shadow behavior during this eclipse. And, uh, and this, will, this will really give you um, a, a serious peek into the depths of your own unconscious. So watch your behavior, obviously, um, and, uh, and use the opportunity to um, to observe things about yourself that you don't ordinarily get to see. Now, then we have another moon, which is a plain old ordinary full moon, not an eclipse, which means that it's not going to be as intense. Uh, and that is happening on December 29, and it's in the sign of Cancer, which is your seventh house of partnership. A full moon usually is partnership oriented to begin with because it is an opposition between the sun and the moon, but this one falls in your seventh house so that really amps up the partnership themes. This one we're calling balancing healing and taking action and it's got a lot to do with balancing uh, home life and softness and emotion as exemplified by the moon against uh, reputation and strength and toughness and career as exemplified by the sun in Capricorn. Now this opposition is being mediated by uh, Chiron in Aries and that's the taking action part. So it's about finding a way to create better work-life balances and for, and for you in particular, it's self and other person. So self and partnership balances and Chiron is, um, is going to be bringing in some assertion and directness and clarity. So that's pretty much what we have for you in the horoscope. Hope you enjoyed it. If you do enjoy our horoscopes, please like, share, and subscribe so that other people can enjoy them too. And you will find our horoscopes also on our website, pandoraastrology.com. In the navigation bar, you'll see horoscope. And also that's a great place to find readings with us or classes. And we'll see you around the cosmos. Bye. Bye-bye.